Go. Hello, I'm Rick Mears, the Golf Pro of Oak Ridge Country Club, and we're here again with our tip of the week. This week, uh, Brett Black, a new instructor here at Oak Ridge, is going to give you some putting tips for helping improve your skills during your round. Putting is, of course, a large part of the game. So at this point, uh, we'll introduce Brett Black, who's new on our teaching staff. And Brett, the time is yours. OK. Thanks, Rick. Hi, everyone from Oak Ridge. Today, I'm going to go over a few things with, uh, with putting that I usually do before I go out and play a round of golf. Um, a couple checkpoints that I like to go over. The first is I always check my eye line. I like my eyes to fall right on the hill of the putter. So I'll get set up, I'll hold on to one ball, I'll get set up to where I think I feel good. I'll drop the ball from my eyes right here, and I'll make sure that it falls directly on the hill of the putter. Now, sometimes I'll, it'll fall too, too, from the inside, it means you'll be too far away. If it falls on the toe of the putter, you're too close to the ball. Both of those things are going to alter your stroke path, whether it goes outside, inside, depending on where your eye line falls. The second thing I like to always do before I go out for a round is uh, the tempo of my stroke. I like to match the way back and the way through. So the easiest way I do it is I'll hold it between my fingertips, I'll let the putter swing naturally, and it'll be one two, one, two. That's usually the tempo of my stroke and I try to keep that the same on the way back and through. So I'll count in my mind one, two, one, two, one, two. And I try to keep that constant on the way back and the way through even depending on how far I want the putt to go. I will alter that by how far I want the blade to go back. I won't change by how fast the putter should go through the ball. So hopefully those couple tips will help you out in your next round of golf. And uh, thanks, I'll be seeing you soon.